Hi, beautiful people. I am Hima Kalwadi. A lot of people know me that I wear multiple hats and I'm also a law of attraction coach. And today in this video, I am talking the topic of law of attraction. Does that interest you? How many of you heard about law of attraction? Probably nowadays you would have heard somebody talking about law of attraction, somebody practicing law of attraction. Uh, you would have read a book on law of attraction. You would have heard about people, how people are manifesting because they are using the techniques of law of attraction. If you have heard about law of attraction, I would like to comment in the chat box, yes or no. If you have heard about it, you can type S below there. And if you have not heard about it, and this is the first time if you're hearing about it, then you can type no in the chat box. Yeah, if you are watching this video and recording, I would really want you to be interactive and go ahead with all my instructions and write down in the chat box because that will help you keep interactive and receive this information as and when I give it in a very uh, informative way. So let's talk about what is law of attraction. This is a new spiritual thought, which is talked a lot about in quantum physics nowadays. Quantum physics talks a lot about law of attraction and uh, it talks about energies, frequencies, and uh, everything about law of attraction. What is law of attraction? As you all know, if you have studied in your school days, the whole of this universe is made of what? Energy. And this is energy. When I do this, this symbol indicates energy. And what does this energy has? Energy has frequency. This is frequency. So we all know that the whole of universe, the space is made of energy. And when I say that, what do I mean? I mean, I have this phone with me. This phone is made of energy. And this glasses are made of energy. And this pen is of energy. So what does that mean? Each and everything around us, in us, everywhere in this whole of universe is made of energy. And energy means it is a matter. So what is the matter? This is a telephone. This is a mobile phone. This is a matter. What can I do with this? If I destroy this, what will happen? The matter will disintegrate, but it does not vanish. That means when I break this pen, it changes its form. It changes its matter. When I burn this plastic, it changes its form, but the matter is still there in the gas form. So the basic fundamental uh, thing is in energy, everything is matter and matter cannot be destroyed or neither created. It is always there in the universe. It, it has to be just, it has to take a different forms. We need to create it in a different form. That's it. So it also means that whatever we talk, whatever we think, all our thoughts and all our words carry energy. So law of attraction basically means it's a belief that negative thoughts will create negative energy and negative frequency. And positive thoughts will create positive energy and positive frequency. And according to law of attraction, like attracts like. What does that mean? When I think negative, I am having negative energy and I am vibrating in a negative frequency. And this, when I am in negative uh, frequency, I am going to attract more and more of negativity in life. So that is what it means when I say like attracts like. In the same way, when I think positive, when I use positive words, when I am doing all the positive thinking, I am having positive energy and I'm vibrating in a positive frequency and the same laws are, are, again applies because I am in a positive frequency I'm attracting more and more positives in my life are you getting it please type yes or no if you have understood this 
Don't worry if you have not understood it. You can go back to the video, again hear me uh, back and try to understand. It's very simple, like attracts like. And as you all know, we have a lot of uh, towers for our mobile frequencies, correct? So what does, how does this work? When I dial a particular number, when I want to call up my mom, I dial her number and it exactly connects to my mom's phone. How does this happen? Because when I dial the number, the frequency matches with her phone number frequency and then I get connected to my mom. So in the same way, like attracts like, both in positive and both in negative. We should always remember. See, law of attraction has really worked for me. And it has worked for me when I didn't know about law of attraction and it has worked for me. It is still working for me when I know about it. The only difference is there were many chances that I was manifesting a lot of negativities before I understood what is law of attraction because law of attraction was already there and it was working, but in a negative way because previously I had a lot of negative thoughts. Because of negative thoughts, I was in a negative energy and vibrating in a negative frequency. But when I started understanding what's happening around me, I wanted to change that kind of a life I was going through. And then I was, uh, I manifested law of attraction in my life and I learned a lot about my, my law of attraction. And now I'm a coach of law of attraction. Now I know how, how I can create my life, the desired life I want, because I can create my path by thinking positive thoughts by being in a positive energy and always vibrating in a positive frequency and thus attracting lot of the things in my life positive. So law of attraction is very beautiful. It works if you believe in it, believe in it or not. And anyways, it works. <laughs> yeah, and very important thing is I have experienced law of attraction is magic and not logic. And previously I was using a lot of logic and analysis and paralysis more, how to go about it. But then I learned it. it's more about my belief, my trust in the universe. So I know it's magic, miracles happen only because of law of attraction. And what are the few steps which I am using? I would really like to share them with you. I usually use four steps in my law of attraction manifestation. The first one is, is asking. I always um, ask the universe what I want. And here is a technique how to ask. First, I need to bring clarity within me on what do I want? What are my desires? Once I bring the clarity, then I go and put the my desires to the universe. That is asking. I might do, do it through uh, affirmations, positive words, visualization, any other techniques, which you will be knowing more about in my further videos also. And then what do I do? I, I will keep a strong faith in me that I'm getting what I have asked for. See, faith is very a strong, positive emotion. It will not give a space to think negative. So that's the reason you're always vibrating in high frequency. When you are in high positive frequency, all chances of you attracting positive things. That's how manifestation happens. So that's the step two. What is the step one? Ask. Second is believe. And third is take inspired actions. I need to take inspired actions in what I've asked for. So if I have asked for to pass in my uh, graduation with colorful marks, with good marks, then I've asked it to the universe. So universe, and I have a strong belief in universe that it will give me what I want. And at the same time, I am very happily inspired to study towards it. So that is the inspired action I'm taking. And then the fourth step is receiving. You should keep your receiving passage very clear so that whenever the universe sends you uh, your desires back, you should be in a position to receive. That's the reason during law of attraction, the first fundamental rule is bring clarity in your thoughts. Bring clarity in your thoughts. Don't bring all confused thoughts in your mind so that you start vibrating, start vibrating on a confused frequency and start attracting confused experiences. Law of attraction is wonderful. 
law of attraction is magic and many a times logic does not work here. I have seen that happening in my life, in a lot of my uh, people whom I'm associated with who are practicing law of attraction, magic really happens and we need to believe in it. Law of attraction is beautiful if you have faith and trust in it and stay tuned uh, to my channel because in further videos, I'll be talking a lot about it. I will talk a lot about affirmations, water bottle techniques, visualizations, lots and lots of things about law of attraction how to manifest in multiple areas of your life so if you have liked this uh, video if you think this is very informative uh, if i can add some value to your life please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and i would really request you uh, if you are really uh, very um, uh, if you're a person who really wants the people in your life to be happy. And if you want them to also have this information and knowledge, then share this video with at least three people in your life so that the uh, it, it not only your, you start vibrating in the positive uh, frequency, but people around you will also be in the positive frequency because these people's energy will also impact you because they are your loved ones. You stay with them all the time. So they also need to be in positive frequency. So please share this video with them and let them also take the benefit of this information and knowledge. And thanks a lot for staying with me till the end. Thank you.